Fasten Seymour thermoplastic wall plates to start as color-specific nylon pellets. Nylon tends to be a porous material and can absorb moisture, so the first step in making a TP wall plate is to dry the nylon out. A vacuum hose draws the nylon beads out of the container to a dryer. The dryer is essentially a large hopper with a built-in humidistat. When the proper moisture level is reached, the nylon pellets are pulled to a smaller hopper where they are held until the mold is ready. The nylon is then fed into a part of the press called the barrel. The barrel contains a reciprocating screw that meters, melts, and injects the material into the mold. Once in the mold, the nylon immediately begins to cool. The cycle time is the amount of time to make one plate starting from the time the mold closes and ending when the mold opens with finished product. The cycle time for a TP wall plate is about 14 seconds. A robot with vacuum suction cups removes the set of completed plates. For TP1s, eight plates are made per cycle. The plates are then carried by the robot to a conveyor that runs through a cooling tunnel. Once cooled, the plates are directed to the screw station where mounting screws are installed. A vibratory bowl is designed to correctly orient the wall plate screws so they can be pre-installed into the wall plate. An inline sensor checks that the correct number of screws is installed. Plates that are missing screws are kicked out. These plates are then collected and resent through the screw station. Once the mounting screws are installed, they are conveyed to the packaging station where the individual plates are wrapped in polypropylene bags. The plates are collected, visually inspected, counted, and packaged in the appropriate size box. These boxes are put in larger shipping boxes, which are stacked on a pallet before transfer to the warehouse. Once sold, the installer is the first person to actually touch the TP wall plate.